Hello once again, good friends, Brian from Apex Detail. I have two vehicles I would like to clean up today, so that'll give me a chance to showcase a product that is new to the channel anyway. Detailing Popo has a foaming rinseless wash, rinseless waterless wash. And I did showcase a similar product a year and a half, two years ago, uh, Ammo Froth. This is $12 cheaper, so I would like to see if this compares a little bit to that product. Uh, is it uh, worth the price at all, worth looking into? They seem to uh, specialize in microfiber, so I also picked up two microfiber drying towels, edgeless towels, that I would like to try out, and uh, we'll see how they perform. So let's get right into this video. Detail Popo Universe. 16 ounces of their foaming waterless and rinseless concentrate for $23.99. They also have uh, plenty of microfibers, towels, drying towels. Here I have two 1400 GSM drying towels, the Detail Popo Twisted Rain. This is 40 by 60 for $17.99 and also the 70 by 85 for $34.95. Let's start out with the foaming rinseless or waterless wash. We will be diluting 20 to 1. I'm going to show you that in a 32 ounce spray bottle that has the markings. It doesn't go all the way down the 20 to 1, but I'll show you where that is. Then we're going to dump that straight into the Axle 3000 that I have. They have their own foamers. They have the 1.5 liter spray pump bottle and also the electric 2 liter pump bottle that is USB rechargeable. So no need to just keep pumping away at it. So. Let me fill the rest up with warm water here. We'll dump that straight into the axle and we're going to get to work. Make sure you have plenty of microfibers. You will go through plenty of them. I'm working on my 53 Chevy Frankenrod here today, getting it cleaned up to get lettering on the door. And then we're gonna coat that with a matte or satin coating that I do wanna show you later on this week. So spray it on liberally, let it soak in there a little bit, encapsulate, lift that grit, and the grit is what we're working to get off there as well as cleaning the panel. So we're gonna use our rinseless wash technique, folding, or lifting that towel slowly as we go along so we're not creating a front or plowing um, effect, pushing the dirt on the surface of the car and scratching it. And there is plenty of lubrication. And that's exactly what I'm looking for right here. A ton of lubrication. It's done plenty well cleaning of the panel. This thing is real dusty sitting outside a lot. Uh, we're doing a rinseless wash on the 53 because the older vehicles do have um, seal and sometimes rubber grommet issues uh, if they're aged or not done right. Let me give you the first person view. Plenty of lubrication, but you could spray it on as thin or as thick as you want to. This thing isn't terribly dirty, just a bit dusty, so this has done the trick. I would recommend carrying some with in your vehicle in case you go to a show or you're out on a night out in the town or a cruise and it gets a little dusty or maybe bird droppings. You can use this to safely clean the vehicle. I want to switch over to my Grios Garage Air Foamer. This is even less work, no pumping whatsoever, puts and lays down a thicker layer of foam and I can get around the car rather quickly this way. By the way, if I want to touch things up after I'm done here, I can cut it 48 to 1 and use it as a detailing spray.
A vehicle this size shouldn't take more than 15 to 25 minutes to get around it. So let's get to those microfiber drying towels. These are extra plush 1400 GSM twisted loop drying towels. Seamless, edgeless. I want to show you them up close. The long twisted loop pile. So the double-sided twisted loop is edgeless, so there's no stitching to scratch or mar soft clear coat or single stage. I could do much better than just showing a close-up. I can show you these towels in action. As I'm finishing up washing the vet here, I will leave it dripping wet. And I'll grab the 70 by 85 first. What I'm looking for is to get around the car, dry completely, wring it out, and have nothing coming out, no, nothing being wrung from the towel, and be nice to actually hop onto a second or third car and be able to dry them as well. Here is the 70 by 80 Twisted Rain. Feels nice, soft, plush. Let's get to work. No problems whatsoever absorbing all of that moisture. I feel like I could definitely dry two more of these or a vehicle this size anyway. Let's quick run into the microscope, get it under the microscope and show you plenty more absorbency that the towel can take. I'm hitting this with a 32 ounce spray bottle and you can see it just takes it and drinks it in. car is nice and dry with plenty of confidence that there's no marring or scratching from the towel. Well done, detail popo. But I'm not satisfied quite yet. Let's douse this thing one more time, soaking wet. And this time we're going to grab the 40 by 60. I'll be quite impressed if we can get around and completely dry the car 
without having to stop and ring it out. For $17.99, that would be impressive. Here is the 40 by 60 Twisted Rain. Let's get to it. You may see one or two drops as I really squeeze hard and wring it out, but very impressive. The car is dry, and I just had the confidence that it was nice and plush and soft, and no mooring was taking place. completely dry with no streaking or water spots. I've had enough of washing and drying this for one day, so let's head inside and get to the final thought segment. And that will bring us to the final thought segment of the video. Detailed Popo's foaming, rinseless, waterless wash can be diluted many ways. Uh, 20 to 1 for a waterless wash, rinseless wash, 128 to 1, and also 48 to 1 as a touch-up detail spray. Effective in any one of those categories has a lot of lubrication and that's what I was looking for plenty of lubri lubrication When you have any of these uh, Foaming rinseless washes guys just like a contact wash You're gonna have to open up the doors the trunk and the hood to make sure you get all the suds out of there Wipe it dry like you would dry your car doing a, a contact wash but uh, very effective. Had plenty of cleaning power. I have nothing to complain about. It's $12 cheaper than the uh, similar product that I showcased about a year and a half, two years ago. So that with the drying towels, which really had a ton of absorbency and were really nice and plush, I can rate the product here on the channel. And since it impressed me, that's the rating it will get. Impressive. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'm going to put a link down below if you want to look into these products. They have much more than this. Uh, I probably will be when I get some time as well myself. Catch you guys in the next video.